Well, next to the victory in one woman's fight to beat the scammers, she blames for the death of her elderly mother who was conned out of £50,000. Marilyn Baldwin from Chesterfield set up the charity Think Jessica in her mother's name and has been campaigning for postal reform since 2007. Now, thanks to her work, the Royal Mail has agreed to amend its terms and conditions at the end of the month in a bid to stop the scammers, as Fraser Maud reports. You can see there on the envelope, it says... The £15,000 is finally going to be paid to you. Marilyn Baldwin's mission in life is to fight unscrupulous male scammers, ever since they pestered her 83-year-old mother to her grave. Jessica Luck was duped out of over £50,000 by the con artists. After her death, Marilyn found 30,000 scam letters in her home. It was only till after she died that I started to look further into it and how the postal system worked and the psychology that the scammers used that I realised that actually it was something that was so powerful that it could take over an older and vulnerable person's life. So Marilyn started the charity Think Jessica and after 10 years of campaigning, she's had a breakthrough. The Royal Mail says it'll introduce new clauses in its terms later this month to help tackle the problem of scam mail. Now this clause just makes it extremely clear that this is unacceptable. And we can also, in, 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 in circumstances where we have suspicions that mail is potentially scam, stop it from reaching the customers, open it up to make sure that it isn't scam mail and, and absolutely stop it in its tracks. That's the aim of it. So this is what the Royal Mail are saying in their announcement. For the avoidance of doubt and notwithstanding anything else herein, if we have reasonable suspicion that an item contains material that we consider to be scam mail or any other similar material, we may open that item, delay processing, refuse delivery and or return the items to you at your expense. Do you think that that's going to be enough of a deterrent to the scammers? I really don't know. It's a deterrent, isn't it? But... Um... You know, if you're, if you're a scammer making £35 million a year off postal fraud, are you going to take that chance and think, well, if I lose one consignment, you know, it's not really the end of the earth, is it? The scammers are getting more and more sophisticated in the techniques they use to target and then exploit their victims. This haul of eight tonnes of scam mail seized at Heathrow shows the use of plain envelopes rather than the easy-to-spot ones covered in false promises of guaranteed money. Marilyn thinks the Royal Mail are moving in the right direction, but says she won't stop her campaign until the scammers are finally put out of business. Fraser Maud, ITV News, Chesterfield.